to disconnect the battery, you just want to flip the unit over and remove the screws from the bottom cover. Once all the screws are out, you can remove the bottom cover. And disconnect the battery from the motherboard. We disconnect the battery to prevent any shortages to the LCD or the motherboard. So once the battery is disconnected, you can just place the bottom cover back on to prevent any scratches or damages to the internal parts. and then flip the unit over and open it up. So to get the keyboard out, you can start popping it off at the bottom and pushing it up. Once the keyboard has been removed, you can disconnect the keyboard ribbon from the motherboard. Then you can close the unit, turn it back over, and take the bottom cover back off. And take out all of the screws that are in the palm rest. Once all of the screws are out, you can start removing the parts, so you can remove the battery. Disconnect the speakers and remove those. Disconnect the two USB ribbons. And remove the USB board. To remove the USB board, you just wanna lift up on the unit a little bit to open the hinges and then remove the board. and then disconnect any remaining cables or wires from the motherboard. So the Wi-Fi cables, the LCD cable, and the touchpad ribbon. And then you can carefully remove the motherboard. When handling a motherboard, you want to be grounded so that any static electricity does not damage the motherboard. And now to get the palm rest off, you just wanna open the unit up. Now you can grab your new palm rest and flip it over and line the palm rest up with the hinges. Once it's lined up, you can grab both the palm rest and the hinges and lay it back down. Once the palm rest is back into place and lined up with the hinges, you just wanna open the hinges back up a little bit so that you can get the motherboard and the USB board back in. So you can grab the motherboard and put that back into place. 
Once the motherboard's back in, you can put this hinge back down. And the USB board can go back in. And then this hinge can go back down. your speakers can go back into place. battery can go back in. Once everything is back in, you can reconnect everything except for the battery. So you can reconnect the Wi-Fi cables, making sure that the white cable goes by the white arrow and the black cable goes by the black arrow. Then you can reconnect the LCD cable. And the speakers. And the touchpad ribbon. And the two USB ribbons. Now that everything but the battery is reconnected, you can put all of the screws back in. Now that all the screws are back in, you just want to place the bottom cover back on to prevent any scratching or damages to the parts. And flip the unit over. And you can open the unit up and reconnect the keyboard ribbon. snap the keyboard back into the palm rest. Here's 
want to flip the unit over, you can remove the bottom cover. Now you can reconnect the battery cable to the motherboard. And put the bottom cover back on. And then you can put the screws back into the bottom cover. To verify that the replacement was successful, you can take your AC and plug the unit in, and then open the unit up. If the unit turns on, that means the replacement was successful. And if you want to double check to make sure that your battery is working properly, you can unplug the unit and if it stays on, then that means the battery is working. So then you can shut the unit off.